Hey, what's up? My name is PJ, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about lenses for music photography. Hope you enjoy. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you are not a complete baller with the full setup, the 16 to 35, the 24 to 70, and the 70 to 200. I think those sort of combinations are great if you're a working professional making a lot of money like awesome, you're completely covered in just about any situation with those three lenses. Um, but it's a pretty kind of old school setup in my opinion. If you are a young, creative, actively shooting music photographer, um, even if you're getting consistent work, you're probably not making a full-time income. So you probably can't afford and probably to be honest, don't need that sort of, um, that sort of lineup of lenses, that sort of old school like old guy lineup of lenses. No offense to those photographers that have them, but I'm talking about the, the young person setup. So the lenses that I have currently are the Canon 24 to 70 2.8 L version two, the Canon 17 to 40 F4L, and I have the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 art lens. The Sigma 35 is currently on my camera body because it always is, to be honest. Since I've had it, I've really overlooked my 24 to 70. I know I just kind of said that ranty thing at the start about having those sort of classic lenses. Absolutely nothing wrong with this lens. It's a fantastic lens. When I first moved to Canon, I got my 5D3 body. I saved up. I put down the money to get this full frame body. Um, and I could only afford one lens. So I chose this big expensive one. It's pretty good. It's pretty much the best all-rounder you can get. It does a bit of everything and it does everything pretty well. The 24 side on full frame is pretty wide. 70 is reasonably tight, not too bad for portraits. Um, it's a great all-rounder. However, since having the 35, the Sigma 35, I just don't use it that much. To be honest, I just, I prefer primes. I prefer the constraints that primes offer. I prefer the look of primes. Um, the depth and the fact that it's 1.4. I never shoot at 1.4, but it's just nice to have some extra light and some extra depth um, over the 2.8 because all of the sort of the classic L series lenses, you know, 16 to 35, 24 to 70, 7200, they're all 2.8. Um, possibly the reason that they focus better than primes sometimes. But to be honest, like I said, since I've had the Sigma 35, I've used my Canon lenses a whole lot less. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what it is about it, but there's something about the Sigma glass. It's just got this magic juju in it. It's just got these, the colors and just something about the way it looks and I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's just magic. That's why this is probably the most common lens that music photographers have. I sort of make fun of it a little bit sometimes on my podcast with Jeremy because every music photographer has a 6D with a 35 14 art lens. Um, I make fun of it because it's true, everyone does, and I'm practically running the same setup myself, but I think it's for a reason and it's because it works. Unfortunately, it kind of means now that everyone takes a similar style of photo with um, a similar setup basically, but it works, it's for a reason, that's why. Um, in terms of Australian dollars, I think the lens is probably still about $900, so if you can afford that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lynched for saying this. Um, I apologize in advance. No, I don't. I don't care. But if there was ever a piece of gear that would improve your photography or improve the perceived value of your photography instantly, it's the 35 1.4 Sigma art lens. I'm just going to call it the 35 art from now on. There's people that I know that have been shooting for ages with the, you know, with a entry level DSLR, a basic prime or a kit lens that have upgraded to the 35 art and it's just taken their work to another level. Again, I can't describe it. There's just some sort of magic juju in the glass. It's just a look. The Sigma 35 has a real look, and I think you can tell. I think I can, I reckon probably eight times out of 10 in a lineup of photos, I could pick the one taken on the Sigma 35. But yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. It's almost a meme at this point because everyone has it, and it's just kind of like an in-joke amongst music photographers because everyone uses it, everyone takes similar photos, and but it's just such a good lens. I, I can't say enough about it. So the last lens that I have is a bit of a specialty one. It's the 17 to 40 F4 L lens. Um, I say it's a specialty one because it's an F4. 
excellent for landscapes, excellent for band promos because in my band promos, I need the wide angle for group shots or I prefer the wide angle for group shots. Um, and it also means that I can stand literally in front of my lighting gear um, and not have it in the frame and still get all of the band members in frame. So um, F4 doesn't really matter because I use strobes. Um, F4 is good because uh, I mean more depth of field for more people in the frame. So it works really well. Um, I think this is one of the best value for money lenses you can get. I'm pretty sure I picked it up for like maybe like five or 600 used, something like that. Extremely good value for money. Any promo shot that you've seen of mine in the last 18 months, two years has probably been taken on this lens. Um, but that's the only time I use it really, either for landscape or for band promos. You can almost never find a situation to use this live unless maybe you're shooting outdoors. Um, but even so, F4 for live shots is not ideal. You want some background separation. You want to you want to be able to blow distractions out in the back and focus on your subject. So yeah, I could probably easily get rid of this thing. Um, what would I get in this place? I mean, ideally, I'd probably get a 70 to 200. It's still a beautiful lens, um, but I just don't think I need it to be honest for the type of shooting I do. I don't shoot a lot of big venues. I don't shoot weddings. Um, I shoot a lot of small gigs, um, outdoors, natural light portraits. I love as well. The 35 art has me covered. Um, in terms of zoom, I zoom with my feet. I move around with my feet, so I could easily get rid of it. Um, if I have to, if I had to pick another lens for a little bit more range, I'd probably grab that 85 1.4 art lens by Sigma. Not even sure if it's out yet, but it's definitely coming and it looks like a beauty. So what should be your next lens? I'm assuming if you're watching this, you probably don't have a sick lineup of lenses. You probably don't have the Trinity. You don't have the 70 200 or any of those big expensive lenses. Um, you may have a 60 or you might have a entry level DSLR. Um, if you're shooting with a kit lens, the first thing to do is get your hands on a prime. I think you'll learn more about composition, more about um, light and controlling light with a prime lens than you will with just about anything. On the Canon side, I definitely recommend the Nifty 50, the Plastic Fantastic. It's the Canon 50mm 1.8 lens. It's about 100 bucks, $120, and it's a great bit of glass. Like, for how cheap it is, you can do so much. Um, I think if you're on the Nikon side, you're even better off because Nikon has a fantastic uh, DX crop sensor 35mm 1.8 lens. I think it was around 200 to 250 Australian. Um, fantastic little lens. Get rid of your kit lens and chuck the 35 on. You will love it. I'm not sure about many of the Canon um, crop sensor lenses, but Nikon have a great range. They also have a fantastic um, 51.4. They also have the 8518. Um, I prefer, to be honest, I prefer the Nikon glass and I prefer the entry level Nikon bodies to the Canon. Um, but apples and oranges, um, two different things. They both do the same job. It doesn't matter what team you're on. Keep practicing, take great pictures, rinse and repeat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you learned something, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.